Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. A number of you were requesting a video on building a voice chat function with ChatGPT, so I figured why not give it a go. Today, we're diving into an exciting project where we'll create a script with some cool stuff that you can turn into a bookmarklet or a Chrome extension. All right, let's kick things off by understanding what we're building. We're going to develop a JavaScript based booklet or browser extension that adds a microphone button to the text area interface. This button will allow users to use speech recognition to input text into the text area. Before we dive into the code, let's take a quick glance at the prompt. In short, the prompt is telling ChatGPT to provide code that would add a mic emoji into the interface that will utilize speech recognition to convert our voice into text and send them to the text area. We then provide it with the element names and some code snippets as a guide. Now let's head over to ChatGPT and pick up our code. All right, looks like our code is ready. Let's copy the code, then right click in the browser and select inspect. Click on the console and paste the code and hit enter. There goes our emoji to the right of the text area. I'll click on it to see if it detects my voice. Testing one, two. So it detects my voice and switches to the mic emoji when it turns off, which is great, but I would like the emojis in the reverse order and we still need the recorded text to be submitted into ChatGPT. So let's type, it's not submitting my text. Please use the following guide. And then we just paste in our code snippet. Also, I want the cursor to turn into a pointer when hovering over the emoji. Now let's refresh the page to wipe out any of the old code running in the background and let's copy the code, click inspect, and paste it into the console. Now hit enter. So it looks like it failed to update the emojis, but let's test it anyway. Testing one, two, three. Great, it submitted the text, but when trying to record again, it does not enable itself. So I went ahead and typed in what you see here, but it did not deliver good results. So I went back and edited this statement and instead wrote, for some reason, I am unable to toggle the mic back on after the text has been submitted. I would like the mic emoji to be shown when the mic is off and the red circle when on. The user should have the ability to toggle the mic on and off. Please update and provide the code and do not skip any code. Now that the code is ready, refresh the page and copy and paste the code into the console. There goes our mic, looks like we have an improvement. So let's test it. Testing to make sure that it can record long text format. Then I continue to do more testing just to make sure it was working properly, but I won't bore you with that. So great, now we're able to talk directly to ChatGPT. Most of you will be content with just that, but some of you, you know who you are, would just say, but can it speak? So let's start a new chat and give it a try. Let's type this in as our prompt. Provide a code snip that will place this emoji on the right of each previous and future element using Mutation Observer. And then we just paste in the element name. When clicked on the emoji, it should read out loud using speech synthesis all the paragraphs from within the element. Also, when clicking the emoji, it should change to, and then we're just gonna provide the stop symbol that will give the user the functionality to stop the TTS. Okay, the code is ready, so let's test it out. Looks like the code did not work, so I typed, I am not seeing the emoji on the right of the elements but that did not produce any good results so I edited it to say I am not seeing the emojis added to the element also it's not being added to the previous elements please update the code now let's test the code it took a second but there it is but when we click on the icon loudspeaker Although it's great that we can hear audio, it's not quite what we want. So let's type, please position the icon so that it does not interfere with the other icons. Also, it's currently saying loudspeaker and not reading out the paragraphs. Please update the code. Refresh the page and test the code. I will be using my code injection script to make the process faster, but you can go ahead and just paste it into the console. Okay, now let's test the speaker. Of course. I apologize nice. for the issue. Nice. Now it's reading the latest elements Here's paragraphs. The also, if you would like to move the icons further to the right, just change this part of the code to negative 120. And this is what it would look Absolutely. like. Awesome. Now we have both speech to text script and text to speech script. So let's do one last thing and combine the two so that after we speak, it reads a response back to us. I will be using Visual Studio Code Editor to do this, but if you're following along and don't have Visual Studio Code, you can simply just use a notepad. Now let's create a new file and call it tts.js. Now let's copy the speaker code and paste it into the file. Let's also hit enter a couple of times to make space for the speech code. Now copy the speech code and paste it into the TTS file. Now that we have all the code in one script, let's copy all of the code 
mode and head back over to ChatGPT. You can start a new chat if you like. I'm just going to continue off from this speech chat and let's type. Now, I would like to implement this code into the script. Once the transcript is submitted and ChatGPT is ready, then it should autoplay the latest paragraphs in the element as mentioned in the script. Then we paste the code snippet. Please provide the entire code and do not skip any code. So now let's copy the code and replace the previous code. After testing this code, it seemed to work, but when it was time to read, it would only read the first paragraph of the entire chat. So let's replace this section of the code with this snippet, and this should resolve the problem. Okay, now let's copy this entire code. Let's start a new chat with ChatGPT so we can test. Let's click on the mic. Testing, testing. I hear you loud and clear. It looks like your message came through successfully. How can I assist you today? Great, now you can see that it reads the response. Let's do one more test just to make sure. Now I want to make sure you read the next paragraph. Of course, I'm here to help. Awesome, so now we're done. Please now the cool thing here is that you can ask ChatGPT like to remove minutes. all the comments from this code and convert this into a bookmark lab. And then just simply add it to your favorites Click on the bookmark you just created, and then just like that, you'll have access to a microphone anytime you want to use it with ChatGPT, just like I've shown you in my previous videos. You can even take it a step further, and with a little tweaking, you can talk to your documents using the code from the Upload Files to ChatGPT tutorial video. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you had a great time building with us. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our exciting content. Thanks for watching, till next time.